Drawing thousands of visitors each year, the village of Saranac Lake is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the Adirondacks. For the past several months, DEC's Division of Environmental Remediation has been working to make sure it stays that way. Environmental engineer Sarah Soche is the project manager of the Saranac Lake Gas Company Superfund site. The site, a former manufactured gas plant, operated here from the 1800s to the 1940s and used coal to manufacture gas for heating, lighting, and cooking. This created a coal tar byproduct that got into the soil and groundwater at the site and migrated into nearby Brandy Brook and Pontiac Bay. DEC is in charge of all aspects of cleaning up the contamination, ensuring that contractors are operating according to the approved work plans. We have environmental controls out here to make sure that we're not spreading the contamination anywhere, that we're actually cleaning things out. So I just I walk around and make sure the all the environmental controls are up and running and that they're working and that they're up to standards. Contaminated sediment can have an odor. So Soche and her team are also responsible for ensuring odor controls are in place and that no dust leaves the site. All major construction activities are scheduled to be completed by the end of November. We might have to come out in the spring to do some restoration activities, um, do tree plantings, uh, restore Brandy Brook with, um, with grasses and things like that, but the bulk of it will be done by the end of the year. Soche says so far, feedback from the public has been extremely positive as residents have expressed they're pleased with the cleanup of the brook and the bay. Students from a local high school and Clarkson University reached out to DEC about touring the site, and DEC staff stumbled upon some history during the work that will live on in this community forever. While we were dredging in Pontiac Bay, we found these old river logs that we we're um, able to take out and save and it's really it's a historic part of this community and the Adirondack experience the museum in Blue Mountain Lake found out about this while well, our public participation specialists actually reached out to them and the local historic society and they're both like really excited about these logs because it's a big part of the history here so we're working with them to clean up the logs to save them so it can become a part of the collection. For Soche, this is not just a job. She's got a personal stake in what she does. After working in the private industry, I, I, I decided that I really wanted to work on the, right, the public side of things, the regulatory side of things, maybe working with the public a little bit more, getting to decide what type of remedy we wanted to do. I spent a lot of time outdoors, and I really I want to preserve it for not only for myself, but for the future. And as part of this project, this project means a lot to me because I come up into the Adirondacks all the time. I do hiking out here, kayaking. Um, I have family that lives in this area. And I just think it's really important to preserve the, the beauty of the area and to preserve the environment and just make sure it's around in the future. For more videos and information about DEC's staff and their important mission to protect the environment, go to our YouTube channel or visit our website, www.dec.ny.gov.